Good morning, Christ Church. Good morning. Good morning. My name's Cal. Good morning. He is risen. Man, you guys already know your line. I love that. He is risen. Let's stand as we uh, read scripture here this morning together. I'm reading from Colossians. It says, when you were stuck in your old sin-dead life, were stuck. You already know. It's Easter. Hey, spoiler, Jesus wins. <laughs> when you were stuck in your old sin-dead life, you were in cape, in were, you were in the past. You were incapable of responding to God. God brought you alive right along with Christ. Think of it. All sins forgiven, the slate wiped clean, that old arrest warrant canceled and nailed to Christ's cross. He stripped all the spiritual tyrants in the universe of their sham authority at the cross and marched them naked through the streets. All the powers of darkness were embarrassed by the work of the cross and the work of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we are so, so incredibly grateful for the work. Thank you so much for the empty tomb, the empty cross. Lord, because of that, we have an abundant life. An abundant redemption is found in only you. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you and worship you today. In Jesus' name he, we pray. Amen. He is risen.
Jesus paid it church I cast my mind to Calvary where Jesus bled and died His hands, His feet, my Savior, that cursed tree. His body blood and drenched in tears, they lay Okay, we're going to have the congregation sing this chorus.
Amen. As we, uh, as we always do, it's part of worship. Just going to invite the ushers uh, for the tithes and the offerings. Um, and let me, let me pray for those. Lord, Lord just want to thank you, Lord, for the fullness of what this day represents. Uh, that you have risen, Lord, that you have conquered death. That you are the way, the truth, and the life. There's no one, no other avenue of salvation, but only through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your grace that you have given us so much. And, Lord, it's, it is our part of our worship and our hearts, Lord, to give because you have given first. So I pray, Lord, for the tithes and the offerings. Lord, thank you for the obedience of your people. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would use these, Lord, to advance your kingdom here on earth. I pray that the gospel would go far and wide as a result, Lord, of a community that believes in you and the gospel, in the church, and in the purposes of God on this earth. We thank you, Lord. We ask that you would bless them, multiply it. In the name of Jesus Christ and the church says, amen.
seated. 